So it is a cheap five below light bulb that changes colors actually safe? We'll try it hard and find out. So try not to bump the camera too much. That would be bad. So let's see. So what we have here. We have a little switch mode chip. That actually could be a microcontroller. It is anonymous, so that was acetone off numbers. We have a our IR sensor. We have multiple LEDs. And is there anything magical underneath it? Let's see. Let's not break the board. Yeah, let's try to pop these clips a little bit. They are glued. So that's something. There's multiple transistors. So that's a that's a microcontroller right there. There we go. And let's see. What are we doing for power here? We have a little circuit board. So let's So let's see if we can do it from the inside out. There we go. Okay. So that's the one part of the chip. And the other part is wedged onto this metal right here. I rather yeah. No. So that's a heat strength module. There's a little transformer in it. Huh. That's well, this needs to be able to get in there without damaging anyone too badly, because I can always just reheat strength that. Because I rather, if this bulb is safe, I rather not destroy it, you know. Oh, you guys probably can't see that. That's the module I'm talking about right there. We have a capacitor, a microchip with very small rating. So this is a switch mode power supply. Oh, and I can tell that because of how the transformer is wound. There we go. So this is a little cheap switch mode power supply. Let's turn on the lights so we have a little better lighting. There we go. So we have a little cheapy switch mode power supply with a 400 volt capacitor, that's not bad, and a 20 volt capacitor on the LED. Alrighty, so that's not horrible. I kind of tempted to screw it in and see if these are each individually colored. They'll, um, no, they're multi-pin chips, so each one of these is the same. And then the brand of these is Vi. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm stupid, so I'll plug it in. And screw my 100 watt light. We'll screw in this. Probably should turn that off. Hopefully that's off. Oh yeah, we took out that metal stud, that's right. That's right, stupid moments. 
Okay. So let's put that metal stud back in. That will fix that problem, wouldn't it? Why does it not work? Oh, because you never put the metal stud back in, idiot. So, there is no real good way to get this metal stud back in, is there? There we go. Okay, push that out a little bit. Crap, shouldn't have let go of it. Okay. Push that in. Over. Push it over a little bit. And then to put the metal slip back in, the easiest way to do that is just to push on it. Like that. Okay, and that actually takes care of the circuit board from the electric here from that standpoint, so that's good. Okay. There we go. Now we have that on. And we can see if it chips. Well, I can. You guys may have a hard time seeing those chips. There we go. So they are all individual chips. With dim the bulb a little bit. That's one thing with the universal remotes I've noticed. They don't work for shit. Make sure it's actually working. Okay, there we go. So now we see a flicker. So they're uh, they're being cut in power by those transistors. Um, let's change the color. So it doesn't want us to change the color. There we go. We'll turn off the phone light. You can see that flicker right there. So that's being modulated. Yeah, it's being modulated pretty hardcore. But luckily the flicker isn't visible to human eye. And then if we turn it off. If it lets us turn it off. No. Yeah, no. It, it doesn't like that. Okay. So the remote's definitely meant to work from the lens. Alrighty. So now we know it's a switch mode, so I feel a little more comfortable about it. It was properly heat shrinked. The circuit board looks relatively professional. It looks a little bit nicer than the Walmart's underwalk. how it was heat shrinked in there. That just gives me a sense of protection. Whether it actually is protecting me or not, I don't know. It looks like there's little fuses. Yeah, there's a little fuse link. That's good. Um, I don't know how many watts this is. Huh. That's a good question. Let's see. They had it shoved in like that, and then this wires went like that. And then this corner, and that corner. There we go. And it goes back to back, get back together pretty well. You, if you really wanted to, you could probably, since it's probably around 25 volts because of that capacitor indicating, it's probably less than that actually. If you really, your heart desired, you could probably power this off of a regular um, power supply and get rid of the space. Uh, does the cap go back on? Yep. So, to answer the question, it's relatively safe. I have no complaints out of it. It's dim, so it's definitely moonlighting at best, but it's safe. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>